Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we did a fairly large Trader Joe's haul, so I thought I would share what we got with you really quickly before I put it away. We always get our ground beef at Trader Joe's. I know there's a pretty big shortage of meat right now, um, but for some reason the Trader Joe's that we went to had a decent amount. And we like that this one is 96% lean. Next up, we grabbed these turkey corn dogs. I thought Mason would really like them, and I also like them as well as a snack. They're not so horrible for you. We grabbed him his favorite silver dollar little pancakes. He loves pancakes so much, and the way he says it is so cute. He calls it a pancake. It's adorable, so I grabbed two boxes of those for the freezer. I grabbed the last bag of soft pretzels. They were hidden. These are like a holy grail find, but only if you can find this jalapeno cheddar pub cheese. It is such a great combination. We tried it as a sample once and now we have to get it almost every time we go. So the key here is to make your pretzel, of course, and then dip it in this cheddar pub cheese and the combination makes such a great snack if you are going to be watching sports maybe in the fall time I definitely recommend that it is so good so the next item that I grabbed from Trader Joe's is just their lightly salted edamame these make for a great side dish on a weeknight where you're just scrambling to get dinner together really quickly um, these ones are salted but normally I like to add my own sea salt so I probably won't have to do that for those the next item is this roasted corn I see a lot of people making dishes with this just adding it here and there so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put that in yet maybe some type of salad would be really good but if you have any recommendations let me know down in the comments below we grabbed this reduced gill mac and cheese. I thought it would just be good to have in the freezer, maybe as like an easy side dish or something like that. I don't usually buy this, but it intrigued me for some reason, maybe because I'm pregnant and I'm always craving random things. But I also got these little pizzas for Mason. He just started liking pizza again. He oddly did not like it for the longest time. My husband loves these margarita pizzas. I like them too, so we always keep these on hand just for like easy lunches. If we are, you know, running around all day, we need something quick. Those are great just to have. We also grab taco shells, one of our, you know, essential items we just keep in the house. I grabbed some parsley. I'm gonna be trying this stuffed artichoke recipe. My family has made stuffed artichokes for years um, on occasion, so we grabbed some artichokes and I'm gonna be stuffing them. You'll see later in the video I have breadcrumbs. Um, I already have the cheese, the parsley, and some olive oil too. So hopefully those turn out good. I grabbed bananas for my boys. Mason likes them, my husband likes them, and I just like to bake with them mostly some harvest whole wheat bread to make mason peanut butter and jelly sometimes i make that if we're going somewhere just like an on-the-go meal or just an easy lunch we grab this tuscan kale i never tried the tuscan kind before but i love to make kale as a side dish with some garlic olive oil salt and sea salt actually and then red chili pepper flakes cooked in a pot. It is a really good side dish. You would think that it wouldn't taste so good, but it does. We grab baby spinach for salads. Maybe I'll add this to some smoothies too. I'm not sure yet, but we got the organic spinach for that. Next in the realm of produce, we grabbed this organic arugula. Arugula is probably one of my favorite types of lettuce to have in a salad. It just has like a really good like bitter kind of taste to it in a good way. And I feel like it always adds like a lot of flavor when you make a salad. So I try and opt to have arugula if I can. The next item we grabbed was this organic um, bag of celery hearts. I love celery juice now. I don't know if it's a pregnancy thing or not, but celery juice with a little bit of lemon juice in it is just so refreshing and tasty. So I like to have celery in my um, refrigerator just to have on hand in case I'm craving one of those. Grab these mini cucumbers for Mr. Mason. They're just easy to put with his dinners and lunches. He likes cucumbers and he likes raw broccoli as of right now. Those are his two kind of vegetables that he eats. And that's pretty much it for the most part, but I'm not complaining. 
I grabbed this bag of mini avocados. I love that they're the perfect size. I don't feel like I'm overindulging if I eat a whole one. They're mini and pretty small, and it's a really good price. It was only $2.99 for the whole bag. Next, we grab this huge log of goat cheese. I really like goat cheese now. I used to not like it, but I really like it on eggs or like salads, things like that. And they have a really big log of it at Trader Joe's for a really good price. And I also grabbed some fresh mozzarella cheese. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. Maybe make my own like naan bread pizzas or put it with tomato for like a capri salad. We'll see. Um, right here, I just have some honey crisp apples. My husband picked those out. So he and Mason will probably eat those up. Just some grape tomatoes, again, if I wanna make the caprese, or just add it to salads. I like to have those on hand, super easy. Next was kind of a random purchase. We got 100% mango juice. We were thinking maybe we could make some fun like mocktails with them or add them to smoothies and the pineapple juice as well. Um, so this was 100% juice, so we'll see what we end up making with those since obviously I can't drink regular alcohol It's been fun to come up with like fruit juices and things like that that I can have especially as it gets hotter in the summertime A fan favorite, just some good old taco seasoning. Who doesn't love a good Taco Tuesday? So I always have taco seasoning just laying around the house in case we are feeling that one night. So we picked up a packet there. I also like to get them at Aldi. They're super inexpensive there too. Next item we grabbed was one of my all-time favorites. It's the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These are extremely dangerous for me to have in the house. That is why I can only get one box and not hoard them. But these are like the best peanut butter cups of all time. Like they put Reese's to shame for me. I just love these things. So I have to get one box and then I have to hide it in my closet. So when I do find it, it's like a special treat. And then, you know, I have to avoid eating them all in one sitting. Next, we grabbed up these organic animal crackers for Mason. I've always wanted to get the big jar at Costco. I think it's $10 there, but this one was $3.99. So I figured this was like a perfect portion for him because sometimes I buy big snacks and it takes a really long time to go through them. So I thought this was good to have just, you know, to pack to go snacks or just something a little bit different because I feel like he gets bored if I gave him the same snacks all day, every day. So this is something a little different and new for him. And I don't feel so bad like the sugar is not completely high or anything out of this world on those we grabbed our all-time favorite crackers to have with cheese the fig and olive crisps I love the pumpkin ones in the fall time they are so yummy and I haven't found anything truly comparable to these so whenever we go to Trader Joe's we grab a box or two today we just grabbed one box because we haven't really been eating a lot of crackers and things like that but I definitely recommend those if you want to make your own charcuterie board with cheeses and little crackers like that they are so yummy Next are these cashew pieces. I'm gonna be making the spicy cashew dressing, um, a copycat recipe for sweet greens dressing. It is so, so good on salads. Something about it is so filling. It's really nutritious. And the recipe called for cashew pieces. So Trader Joe's came through and they had that on hand. I was very excited to find those. The next thing is this nutritional yeast. I've never used this, but the recipe for that salad dressing called for that also. Um, let me know what you guys use nutritional yeast for down in the comments. I've heard it has kind of like a cheesy flavor, so maybe I could try it on vegetables or something like that. I'm just not sure.
Next for that salad recipe is this organic toasted sesame oil. It only called for a little bit of this, so I was happy to find a small bottle and not buy it in bulk at like Costco or Sam's. And it also called for some coconut aminos. So I grabbed a bottle while we were there. Trader Joe's had that. <laughs> The next thing that we grabbed was these hot and sweet jalapenos there for my husband. He likes them on pretty much anything. I'm not so spicy, so much a spicy fan, but he likes them. These organic breadcrumbs are for the artichokes that I showed you earlier in this video. These are some freeze-dried banana slices. Mason loves the ones from Aldi, the strawberry ones. They didn't have strawberries, so I thought I would try banana for him, but he was not a fan. He wants his strawberry ones back. Next was this organic tomato and roasted red pepper soup, just kind of for a cold day. We like the soups from Trader Joe's, and they last a super long time in your pantry, so I think they're good just to have on hand. This yummy mango prosecco for September when I'm able to have a drink again. The Trader Joe's that we travel to has wine and beer and this one is really yummy. So I'll just save that for a special day in the near future. My husband grabbed some coffee. The coffee grinders at our Costco are shut down but Trader Joe's had their ground coffee available so we grabbed that. And then also we just grabbed this mochi pancake and waffle mix. It was really intriguing and I grabbed a box for my friend too because she seemed really interested in that. But that is what we grabbed at Trader Joe's other than milk. I didn't show the milk in this vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know some of your favorite products down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!